have not been completely honest with you and I have to tell you the truth. Let's get straight into this. Let's hop in the car and we'll talk about it. Come on. Is that air conditioning work at all? No, all it's right. actually colder without the air conditioning <laughs> on. <laughs> well, let's go home and recharge it, okay? Okay. Because we got that car show to go to. Yep. So I'm not quite sure. Jared, what should I tell him? Like how much? Um, how much should I tell him? <laughs> tell him the truth on everything. Okay. All right. So like I said, I haven't been completely honest. I haven't told you guys everything personal about me. You don't know a whole lot, right? You guys know I started this YouTube channel about a year and a half ago and it has been so fun. Um, but it has been kind of hard too. In that year and a half, there has been a lot of ups and downs, and I have to be honest, I am about 50-50 on quitting, quitting YouTube, because I feel like right now I'm on a low. To be honest, one of the hardest things about YouTube for me is finding time to film, because it takes me several hours to film, several hours to edit, it's a lot. And the reason why I have such a hard time finding time to film is drum roll please cameraman drum roll. <laughs> just kidding i am a mom i have three boys and they are so fun but it is crazy we're in sports they have friend stuff we're always doing something and of course as all of you feel the same way i'm sure family is number one so that's the reason why i'm kind of 50 50 on quitting because it takes a lot of time ferrari Oh, baby. Brace it. <laughs> yeah, they're looking at us. It, it was an older couple, right? No. That's going to be us someday. <laughs> In Ferrari. With all of that, and homeschool, we did homeschool this year. Um, with all of that, I don't want to totally quit YouTube because I love it. I love the community. I love filming. I love commenting with you guys but I do need some help. Hopefully that makes sense on why Jared has been experimenting with the show, with the show, we're not a show, <laughs> with YouTube, with the camera. He's doing his own YouTube videos sometimes. <laughs> oh man, I need to get better with my fast shifting, you guys. I'm not very good yet. Cameraman still beats me in a race. Oh yeah, um, that's what we need to do. We really need to race the S550 versus the Terminator Oh yeah. from a dig. It's not fair though, because I'm afraid to get in trouble and you just aren't. <laughs> I, okay, I'm actually gonna kind of decide right now. I do want to stick with YouTube, because like I said, I absolutely love it. I love you guys. I love the community it is. And I love car stuff anyways, right? But, I'm recruiting you for help. I really need cameraman's help with filming and to be in the videos. Sometimes it's boring to film by myself. It's really boring <laughs> and I look like an idiot sometimes. That's okay though. We're at a red light. Let's see it pull as fast as you can. Let's see it pull. It is Go. Oh, I can't, dang it. Go. I need to get over. I need to run home, recharge the AC system because we have a car show later. Oh, and I have to wash the cars. So you guys know I am not very good at working on my cars at all, but I have a car show to go to today. It is over 100 degrees right now, and this baby has no AC, so I'm gonna attempt to recharge it today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I've never done this before. No idea what I'm doing. Let's go. And we need to wash the cars. Holy cow, we have a lot to do. All right, now do you know how to recharge the system? Yes. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> let's watch it then. Okay. I know that the AC is somewhere in this area. Wow. Yeah, it's like right here. Hold on, let me find the AC compressor. It's right there. No, that's a supercharger. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'm serious, it's like right there, right? <laughs> I don't know where you're pointing. Point to like in it. this area. Open hood and find low pressure AC service port. Oh, easy. Okay. <laughs> wow. We are terribly unprepared for this. We have to. We. Listen, 
man. You should be doing this. You're the man in this relationship. No. You know I let you work on these cars and I let you learn for yourself. Sit and laugh at me. I might need to change my shirt. This is gonna show sweat like super quick. What Don't. are you doing? I'm like, I'm, I'm being resourceful, okay? You either need scissors or one of these doohickeys. Should I do a time lapse to this? Like, I feel like it'd be really long, even the time lapse of it. But you totally can. I got just, this. Just twist that on the bottle. But then what? Then where do we put I'll it? I'll show you. you even... Okay, now hook that up to the bottle. Thank you. You're welcome. I can figure that part out. <laughs> now where to put this thingy? <laughs> wow. Say it. That's what she said. No, no, <laughs> that goes the other way. <laughs> I was like, this is not twisty on. We better not put that on the video. Oh, that's <laughs> going on. Down. Sorry, no, I did not mean to haunt that. My big fat belly hit the... Uh, Whatever. Alright. Okay. Let's slip it right on all the way till it clicks. I'm kind of nervous. Okay. Oh, look at that. Now look at the gauge. Oh my gosh. I was so worried that this wouldn't be the problem. Like that I actually need a new AC compressor or something. Now what? Squeeze the trigger. Do I, am I supposed to put it back and forth like this? <laughs> Just squeeze the trigger. A couple little squeezes. It's getting cold. Wow. So what do I do it to like 40? Yep, right in the middle of 40. You don't want to overcharge it. That's, that's problems. It's working. It's working. What's that from? What movie? Do you know? Yeah, of course I know. Star Wars. <laughs> the little kid. I had such a crush on him when I was little. <laughs> Alright. So that's scary. <laughs> Did you guys hear the noise? Done. Wow, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Holy cow! Now the true test is to go in there and see if the air conditioner's working. There you go. I have a feeling it is. Alright. So right now, oh it's kind of starting to feel cooler. I feel it. It's cooler than when we got in at first. Okay, to be honest, it's like lukewarm air coming through. What the heck? So the air conditioning is definitely not working. Dang it! Um, yeah, I don't really know what to do from here because I don't think it's a, I don't think it's the compressor. I don't know. Do you guys have any ideas? Because clearly, I'm not very mechanically inclined. <laughs> um, yeah. So we are going to the car show tonight and we are taking the three boys. They are nine, eight, and two years old and they absolutely love it going to car shows. They take their own videos and pictures. It's so fun. Just for safety reasons though, they are not ever gonna be on this channel. Maybe they'll have their own someday though. What's up guys, I'm on this car show. It is insane. All of these cars are gorgeous. I've gotta show you a couple. Found the Mustang section, guys. I don't know if you guys remember, but I reviewed a Boss 302. There it is, right there. You guys have got to check out this Mach 1. It is crazy. The sad thing is, <laughs> I can't keep up with you for about. All right, I love that red. It's like candy so, apple This guy red. came from Alaska. No, he, he did didn't. Very, yes, he did. Look at the That's place insane. down below. Look at the place on the other side. It says Alaska right on it. These two GT500s are the president of the Northern Utah Mustang Owners Association. Mustang Doug. Mustang right there, Doug, right? yep. That car makes my car look good. <laughs> they come over here, they're like, awesome. And they're like, oh, okay, that's a pretty cool car, I guess. Yeah. All right, this car is insane. Check it out. He's actually from Alaska, and he comes here half the year and lives in Alaska half the year. Candy apple red. Love the louvers. And look at that interior, man. Holy cow. Airport safety. That is so cool. I love it. I want one like that. We have two GT500s here and did a video on this Boss 302 not too long ago. He actually might sell it and should I buy it? I don't know. He's thinking about picking up a GT350 and he said maybe I could buy it from him. What do you think? Should I do it? 
<laughs> we have this crazy GT350 right here. I love the seats. It's like retro. Come check it out. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Look at all that memorabilia in there. Holy cow. Kind of feel like I'm back at Mustang week. What do you guys think? By the way, who's going to Mustang week this year? Let me know. 